Hey guys, Jessica here. I'm going to review The Grim Legacy by Polly Shulman. Um, I just finished this. This is Borrow the Magic If You Dare. Talks about the story of a girl, Elizabeth, who is recruited for a job at the New York Cir Circulating Material Repository so people can check out materials, some of which are magical. And, um, it says, it's home to the Grimm collection, a secret room in the basement. That's where powerful items straight out of the Brothers Grimm fairy tales are locked away. Seven league boots, a table that produces a feast at the blink of an eye, Snow White's stepmother's sinister mirror that talks in riddles and has a will of its own. When the magical objects start to disappear, Elizabeth and her new friends embark on a dangerous quest to catch the thief before they're accused of the crime themselves, or the thief catches them. Polly Shulman has created a contemporary fantasy with a fascinating setting and premise, starring an ordinary girl whose after-school job is far from ordinary and leads her into a thrilling world of romance and magical adventure. This is really cute. I feel like it's for a little bit younger audience. I'm not going to say necessarily middle grade, but a lower end of the young adult. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't my favorite. Um, I know that Books, Boys, and Such really likes this book. I did think it was really great. Um, but I just read, I guess I've read a little bit better in terms of books like this. So it's hard not to reference that and to think about that. Man, my hair is horrible. Um, it's hard not to think about that when you're reading books similar to that. I did enjoy it. It was a great read. It was a quick read. Um, I believe it's like 325 pages. Um, and I definitely recommend it. It's just that... Um, like I said, I've read a lot of more magical books that give you more of an alluring feel. And I just, I don't know. Sometimes I felt a little confused at what was going on because it was almost over the top. Um, which is fun, but I want to be able to follow the story. So I'm going to give this like a three and a half out of five. Uh, it was still good and I'm glad that I found it at the library. Um, but I'm glad that I didn't buy it if that makes sense. So that's my quick two-minute book review, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.